Zorin OS 18 versus Zorin OS 17.3. Thinking of switching or upgrading your desktop to the latest Zorin OS? Today we're comparing Zorin OS 18, the new chapter, with the polished Zorin OS 17.3, so you know which one fits your machine and workflow. I'll cover what's new, what actually matters day to day, and who should upgrade. Welcome back. If you're new here, hit subscribe for concise Linux guides and honest OS comparisons. This is a practical, no-fluff breakdown. Release groundwork, desktop and UI changes, performance and hardware support, default apps and privacy, upgrade path, and my recommendation. Quick facts and life cycle. Zorin OS 17.3 is the most recent point release in the 17 series, arriving in March 2025 as an incremental but important update that tightened up privacy, drivers, and some default apps. Zorin OS 18 is in beta, announced in September 2025, and brings a larger redesign and new features. Think refresh desktop workflows and deeper cloud app integrations. Base system and kernel, what each is built on. 17.3 is based on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS with a modern kernel and updated drivers backported for hardware support in the 17.x lifecycle. 18 beta moves the base forward toward the newer Ubuntu 24.04 stream and newer kernels that add broader hardware support and longer future support windows, a key reason power users will pay attention. Desktop, UI, and workflow changes. Zorin has always targeted Windows switchers and newcomers with familiar layouts. 17.3 refined those layouts and polished system apps for consistency. Zorin 18 takes a bigger step. A redesigned desktop, updated taskbar behavior, additional desktop layouts, a new tiling-like window management option, and a refreshed app launcher. All intended to speed common workflows and feel modern out of the box. If you like built-in window tiling and contemporary desktop polish, 18 is the more ambitious update. Apps, defaults, and privacy. One notable change in 17.3, Zorin replaced the previous default browser with Brave, aiming for privacy by default and performance gains, and refreshed some pre-installed apps. That made 17.3 a cleaner, out-of-the-box experience for privacy-conscious users. 18 continues this trend and introduces web app integration and tighter cloud services. OneDrive support has been mentioned in coverage. Plus, a redesigned software store to discover apps more quickly. These represent a shift toward hybrid desktop cloud convenience. Performance and hardware support. If you're on Zorin 17.x already, 17.3 is a safe, recommended update that you can apply to keep receiving security fixes and driver updates through the 17 lifecycle. Zorin 18, beta, may provide an upgrade path once it reaches stable status. But for now, upgrades are not available from 17 to 18 until the stable release. If long-term support or absolute stability matters, staying on the latest 17.x until 18 is stable is the conservative choice. Who should pick which one? Pick Zorin OS 17.3 if you want a rock-solid, well-supported system today, especially on older hardware or for production use. It's polished, secure, and proven. Pick Zorin OS 18 Beta if you want the latest UI improvements, new productivity features, tiling, web app integration, cloud support, and you're comfortable testing a beta or installing on a spare machine. Expect visuals and workflow upgrades, but also expect some rough edges early on. Finally, bottom line, 17.3 is the stable, dependable choice today. 18 looks like the future forward option with a cleaner workflow and modern integrations once it's stable. If you want, I can make a second video showing a hands-on install and an upgrade walkthrough. Which would you prefer? Drop your choice in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in tomorrow video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for daily videos. Bye.